Do you know how chainsaws are made? To create a complete saw machine, it is necessary to go through many complicated stages. In this video, I will introduce you to the sawmill manufacturing process from A to Z. Japanese saw machine production process. First, the saw manufacturer's designers will create samples of the various parts of the saw. These templates are created using CAD CAM technologies, which stands for Computer Aided Design and Manufacturing. After the patterns are created, the saw machine parts are fabricated. These parts are usually made of metal or plastic. Commonly used fabrication technologies include stamping, casting, CNC machining and 3D printing. The first step is to install the chassis. The frame or body is usually made of metal or plastic. The main parts of a saw frame usually include the body, the base and the handle. The auxiliary parts of the saw frame usually include the guard plate, auxiliary handle and other parts. You can use screws or bolts to secure these parts together. After assembly is complete, check the stability of the saw frame. Make sure that the saw frame is stable and free from shaking. The motor is the most important part of the saw, so you need to assemble it carefully. How to assemble the motor as follows. Place the motor in an appropriate position on the pedestal. Use the screws to fix the motor. Double check to make sure the motor is securely assembled. The motor will then be fitted to the chassis. Saw blades are made from the machine billets. It is then polished to remove scratches and defects on the blade surface. It is also hardened to increase stiffness and bearing capacity. The saw blade chain is made of steel or alloy steel and is quenched at high temperatures to increase hardness and durability. In addition, the saw chain is also heat treated to resist corrosion. To insert the saw chain into the chain feed holes, place the saw blade on the saw. Pull the saw chain through the chain feed holes, making sure that the links align with the chain guide pins. Finally, secure the saw chain with a screw or pin. Check the tension of the saw chain by pulling the saw chain up.
The steps of packing and discharging the saw need to be done carefully to ensure that the saw is transported safely and reaches the user in the best condition. The saw is fixed in a cardboard box to prevent damage during transportation. Use plastic wrap to cover the saw blade to help prevent scratches or damage. Comes with screwdrivers and disassembly tools so that users can assemble and maintain the saw by themselves. An instruction manual is provided so that the user can use the saw safely and effectively. Saw Machine Test To test the quality of the saw, choose a piece of wood or a stump to test the saw. Power on the saw and adjust the speed of the saw. Run the saw on the piece of wood to check the sharpness of the saw blade. Power off the saw. So, we have learned together about the sawing machine manufacturing process. As you can see, the sawing machine manufacturing process is quite complicated and requires high precision. Each step in the process is important and needs to be done carefully to ensure the best quality saw. I hope this video will help you better understand the sawing machine manufacturing process if you have any questions, leave a comment below this video. Thank you for watching this video and we'll see you in the next video.